Hi guys, today I am showing you how I make my fluffy, soft, yummy cinnamon rolls. It also has a brown sugar cream cheese frosting on top and I'll show you how to make that, so stay tuned. Okay, to a large bowl, I am going to add two cups of flour. Now watch what I'm doing guys, I am leveling off my cup. You don't want too much flour, you don't want heaping cups of flour, you don't want your dough to be dry, you just want enough flour. And to that, I'm going to add one package of fast rising yeast. This recipe is going to be a quick one, you know, relatively quick, so we want to use fast rising yeast. I'm going to mix that up. Now I'm gonna get started on my wet ingredients. You're gonna need one cup of milk, and six tablespoons of softened butter, one cup of sugar, and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm gonna to try to break down the butter, melt the butter as best as possible. Uh, I have my, my pot on a very low to medium heat you don't want it to like start boiling you, you're more like scalding the milk than boiling the milk so you want to make sure your temperature gets between 110 and 120. now i just combine that with my flour ingredients so just pour that mixture into the flour mixture and add your eggs i'm adding one at a time just to make sure i don't have any um eggshells in my batter I'm, I don't really need to overdo it right here because I'm gonna put this in my mixer if you don't have a mixer don't even worry about it you can make these cinnamon rolls right in the bowl it's just a little bit more work and I'm a little lazy I guess so yeah I'm putting it in the machine get it all in there Okay, so I did attach my, my dough hook because of course we're making dough. Now to this, I'm going to try to add in my remaining two cups of flour. Uh, it depends on where you are uh, and the temperature in your house, what's going on outside. You wanna make sure um, not to add more than two cups, maybe two and a quarter cups if your dough looks like it's still too wet. Uh, you don't want your dough to be too dry. You don't want it to be too wet. So I'll let you see how my dough looks and, and you can go by that. You see this flour like collection? I hate when the mixer like collects the flour, the powdered sugar right on the very top. I'm like, really? So anyway, that's what I do. I just remove it. And there. I um, let it go for a few more minutes. And now I'm gonna put that um, mixture onto a floured surface because now we're gonna to have to still knead this a little bit. We're gonna to have to work the gluten just a little bit more um, just to bring the dough together so we can um, make sure everything is incorporated. So I'm gonna take that all out of there. I need a little bit of flour for my hands so my hands doesn't, don't stick to the dough. But see what I'm doing? I'm just lightly kneading it. I kneaded this for about five minutes. So five minutes will do the trick. We want to work the gluten. It's all about getting the gluten. Um, you know, that's how you get that nice, chewy, soft texture. So next, I'm going to put a little bit of oil. I probably put a little bit too much oil. You don't need that much. Just a little bit of oil in a bowl. And you're going to place your dough into the bowl. The oil helps the dough not to stick to the bowl. Now watch what I'm going to do with this um, plastic wrap. I'm going to spray my plastic wrap and I'm going to flip it over. And so just in case my dough is like a like an athlete fast rising dough, uh, it won't stick to the surface of a, the towel. Okay. So meanwhile, that is rising. While that is rising, I'm going to 
make my cinnamon mixture. So you need one cup of brown sugar. You can use cinnamon, pie spice, allspice, cloves. I am using a combination of cinnamon and pumpkin spice. If you have just pumpkin spice, that would work also. Uh, I really like a strong cinnamon flavor. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of cinnamon. And then I'm going to also use two tablespoons of the pumpkin spice. Again, if you, you can also make this, um, you know, from scratch. I just find it really convenient to have the pumpkin spice. So now I'm going to just try to break down all of the, the lumps in the brown sugar. I don't know why it, why brown sugar does that. I'm, I'm assuming it's the molasses. It's like kinetic sand or something. You know the kinetic sand that kids play with that clumps together? This reminds me a lot of it. But we're just trying to work the cinnamon all through the brown sugar, making sure we don't have any lumps because you want a really cinnamony, you know, cinnamon roll. Okay, so we're gonna put that aside. And now we're gonna take our dough out. It's been resting for about 40, I think about 25 minutes. So we don't need it to double in size, we just need it to just um, activate some. And now we're going to roll out our dough. You're trying to get a, a, the dough to shape more like a rectangle uh, I think the measurements is more like an 18 20 I uh, my is, was probably more like a 15 22 <laughs> but you want your dough to you know one and one side of your dough should be longer than the other okay now you're gonna spread your softened butter all all over it evenly making sure every piece every edge gets butter because we want to you know we want to put our sugar all over it so we're going to add all of this lovely cinnamony sugar all over look at that guys completely covered there's cinnamon in every single bite of this cinnamon roll you know those cinnamon rolls that have like just a little bit of sugar this is not one of those Nope. Sorry guys, I'm talking so much. I know, I, you just probably want to just see the video. I'm a talker. I'm, I'm a talker, guys, so um, bear with me. This is how it looks after you roll it up. So you're going to cut it down the center. And each um, side, you're going to cut those in the center. And then we're going to cut three in every section. So three for each section. And then you get 12 rolls. They're not quite even, but you know, you get, you get it just. Look at, guys, look at the swirl. Yes, those are so gorgeous. Let's, now I'm going to do the same thing I did with um, the dough. I'm going to spray it a little bit and then I'm going to cover it. Now you're going to let these rise for one hour. And I put those in the oven and they baked up really well. So um, now they're ready for the frosting. So for the frosting, we're going to need four ounces of cream cheese, a quarter cup of softened butter. You're going to need your brown sugar and one cup of your powdered sugar. You want to do this really slow because you don't want a cloud storm, a, a flour, what do you call it? Powder sugar flour something storm. You don't want that. So I mix it up for about mm, maybe five, 10 minutes until everything was well combined. Now it's time to frost our cinnamon rolls. So I just put my frosting in a large Ziploc bag and snipped off 
once I snipped off one side of the bag and I'm just drizzling it on just to make sure it's more like evenly coated because I, I, I'm still going to use a spatula to smear it around but I, I just find a bag is it helps me to keep keep the frosting you know in the pan basically look at those guys aren't those delicious looking so guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe i have so much more videos like this do not forget to subscribe um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are all staying safe at home hopefully we can get back to normal soon but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye